Easter is special to me. Associate emotions like happiness and joy. <laughs> Bringing families close together. A reflection on things having a beginning. A celebration of new life, of uh, new beginnings. A sense of bettering myself in the middle of the year. I associate Easter with happiness and fun. It's a time of forgiveness, I suppose, for all of us. Happiness and getting together with family. Very special because it's, it's new life and it's a time to wipe the slate clean and start anew. Easter is a time for renewal. Happiness and joy. It's the core of what I believe as a Christian. It's about new life, so it's about kind of putting stuff away that you don't like or that you don't think you should be doing or you're not proud of and then focusing on the, the new um, and, and kind of, yeah, things that are, that are better than that. Welcome to Easter. Now let's meet our contestants. It's the man who put in Jesus and his friend Kevin. Judas and Kevin! <laughs> he got to stand next to Jesus on the cross. Brian was one of Jesus' disciples, Peter! <laughs> it's the man himself, Jesus, with his mother Mary! <laughs> Let's play. Our first round is pointless. Name a person from the Easter story. Jesus and Kevin, what's your answer? Mark. Let's see what they got. <laughs> it's called 31 points. Bad luck. Peter and Brian, what about you? We think Angel. Let's see what they got. <laughs> wow, good point of 11. Mary Jesus, what about you? Martha. Interesting one. Let's see what they've got. And we've got a pointless answer. Mary Jesus. Other pointless answers would have been Thaddeus or Jude. For this round, the pair that went out, I'm sorry to say, is Jesus and Kevin. Let's move on to round two. For me, Easter is a time to celebrate new life, to reflect on what, or one of the times to reflect on what Jesus has done for us. Jesus died on the cross and why is he again? It's about Jesus' death and resurrection. To me, Easter means it is a time to rejoice and to have fun with my family and friends. To me, Easter means like new life and Jesus coming back from the dead. It's a time of celebration, knowing that all my sins have been forgiven. Easter means um, the beginning of new life. Yeah. It is a celebration of Jesus. To me, Easter is a time for new life and possibly remaking resolutions I didn't keep in January. To me, Easter is a time to get together with family and celebrate Jesus' resurrection. It's all about new life, really, so that's why it's important to me. Easter means a time to get together with family and friends. And to me, it means like bringing families together. Things bursting back into life after the darkness of winter time. Welcome to round two, the chase. Why do we have Easter eggs? A, we like chocolate. B, people like circles. C, to show new life. A, we like chocolate. C, because it shows new life. I'm sorry to say that Brian and Pizza that was the incorrect answer, and Mary and Jesus will go to the next round. I don't think it's all about chocolate. For a lot of people out there, Easter is about chocolate and chocolate eggs. I don't like chocolate myself, but it's a pretty big representation of possibly the tomb and new life. No, I don't think Easter's all about chocolates. I think the egg today makes me think of nature, thinks, think in terms of both. I don't think Easter is all about chocolate, but it is quite a big part of Easter in modern times. I think Easter has become too associated with chocolate, especially in modern times, and it needs to be brought back to the uh, memory and celebration of new life. And uh, obviously for Christians, 
the uh, celebration of Jesus' resurrection. I do love chocolate, it's very nice, but no, it, it's not all about chocolate. I don't think it's the full meaning, the chocolate isn't, but I still think it's nowadays it's quite a big part of Easter. Uh, I certainly don't think Easter's all about chocolate. No, I don't think Easter is all about chocolate. It's a lovely thing to have, but it's not all about chocolate. Easter is partly about chocolate because that's what children remember. No, I don't think it's Easter is about chocolate. Well, I think, I mean, it can be about the Easter, Easter eggs and chocolate because, like the average guy, I like chocolates, but it's really not what it's about, no. Welcome to our final round. Mary, I'll ask you some questions about Jesus and we'll see if you can get them right. What was Jesus' first miracle? Walking on water. Okay, whose tomb was Jesus buried in? Uh, Jesus, what was your first miracle? Uh, turning water into wine. Oh, bad luck, Mary. And whose tomb were you buried in? Joseph of Arimathea. Well, it's uh, glad to say that Jesus has won the whole show. Sorry, Mary, you have lost the flower. I could doubt the tomb was empty, but blind faith has taught us to be taught to be virtuous. I do believe in that, as I think that uh, Jesus is amazing and that he has all the powers. No, I don't doubt it at all. No, because it was Jesus and he could do most things. No, on the whole I don't doubt that, but there are times when you do wonder if that really happened. No, I don't doubt that because Jesus has performed many miracles. Uh, although I don't doubt that the tomb was empty, sometimes I find it hard to imagine someone rising from the dead, although I do not doubt Jesus and God's power. No, I don't doubt that the tomb was empty. I think Jesus was there, he did lay there, and he did rise from the dead. No, not at all. Of all the things you can read in the scripture, I think that's the most plausible and uh, believable. No, um, I don't doubt it because um, God is real. Um, sometimes I doubt that he rose from the dead. It's just because I can't really understand how anyone could do that. I doubt it sometimes when I question everything, but in principle I, I believe that something amazing happened and Jesus did not get trapped by death. God is risen.